In this video, we discuss a tip to improve visualization for shaving peripheral vitreous with scleral depression. New technologies like a wide-angle viewing system, high-speed vitreous cutter, small incision trucker systems and chandelier lights enable surgeons to perform a thorough vitrectomy, which is crucial for treatment of many vitreo retinal pathologies. Sometimes, however, the surgeon can find difficulties to adequately visualize the peripheral vitreous, even with the use of these technologies. In this case, a patient with proliferative diabetic retinopathy associated with macular attraction was submitted to persplanar vitrectomy. After removing all the membranes from the vascular arcades and from the opt disc, a permanent haze associated with bleeding coming from the new vascularization of the opt disc worsened the surgeon's visualization. Endocautery was used in the retinal bleeding point and the intraocular pressure was temporarily increased, but the bleeding in the papilla remained. Even with the use of a chandelier light, the surgeon didn't have adequate peripheral visualization to shave the vitreous base. To improve the contrast and enable better visualization of the peripheral vitreous, you can use transscleral illumination at the point of indentation. Some surgeons use the endoluminator probe itself to gently depress the sclera. However, the blunt tip of the scleral depressor allows a more effective and controlled indentation. So, you can hold both instruments, the scleral depressor and the endolumination probe, together to perform transscleral illumination and allow a safer peripheral shaving of the vitreous base. This technique, however, does not allow the surgeon to slide the scleral depressor how we used to do when using only this instrument. To change the position, you need first to move the scleral depressor and then positioning the end illuminator probe in the same place. This is a simple tip that you can use in several vitrectomy procedures when you are not comfortable with the illumination of the vitreous base.